stock water supply is really important this season because milk that the cows actually produce is actually 87% water. So we don't want any limitations to access to our drinking water for our cows so that there'll be no issues with quality or intake and milk production. So farmers should really plan their stock water requirements this summer to avoid the risk of running out of stock water and having a real negative effect on productivity. It's definitely not an option to cut back on cows access to drinking water if you are facing a water shortage. So in that scenario you need to find some water savings elsewhere. Uh, the only place you can really do this is in the dairy shed where you might be able to find some savings around yard washings and around milk cooling and uh, maybe even around reusing water in the dairy shed wash. So Dairy Australia has a useful tool that you can use to help estimate your on-farm water supply on a monthly basis. So it's based on three things, um, your herd size, um, your shed water use and your on-farm water storage. And if you use these, if you can estimate these things accurately and input them into the tool, it will give you a really good estimate as to how much water you require and if you're going to be short on a monthly basis. It matters if cows have access to fresh clean drinking water because they require more water than any other production animal. And if we restrict their intake, it's going to affect their productivity and health, whether they're on a paddock or on a feed pad. Research shows that when cows have to leave a paddock to go and get a drink, even if it's only 150 metres away in a, in a laneway, they drink less and they drink less often. And that ultimately will impact on their milk production, particularly the less dominant cows who drink even less. So really important that we have a trough in every paddock. Cows will drink up to one half of their daily intake of water within an hour of milking. So it's really important that they get the opportunity to have a good drink particularly as they leave the dairy. And it's really important when the weather's hot, obviously, um, when they've been waiting in the holding yard for perhaps more than 45 minutes, and when they've got a long way to walk back to their paddock. On a sacrifice paddock or a feed pad, it's really important to have not one water trough, but two water troughs, so that the uh, less dominant cows can avoid the more dominant cows and always get a drink when they feel like it. There are eight water quality parameters that can impact on a cow's water intake or her productivity and health. First one is um, water temperature. Cows actually, funnily enough, uh, prefer warm water to cold water. The second one is um, the uh, concentration of manure contamination in the water. And the third one is the uh, level of total dissolved salts or the salinity of the water. And the other ones are the sulfur content, the iron and manganese contents, nitrate levels in the water, the levels of various heavy metals, and the amount of microbial contamination in the water. pH and hardness don't actually affect the quality of the water from the cow's point of view, but they do uh, impact on the flow of the water through the uh, farm's water system. If farmers are concerned about the quality of their drinking water, then uh, they should get it tested at a uh, specialist water laboratory. If the results come back from the lab and they indicate a, a particular problem, then our two options are either to find an alternative water source or to install some sort of appropriate water treatment system. So for a comprehensive water analysis, expect to pay about $150 to $200. And the laboratory will give you a set of bottles to collect the samples in. Each one of them's got a special coating for different tests. And it's just a matter of breaking the water uh, going down about half a metre, filling up the bottle. So we've got one bottle. This next one is a sterile one, so you've got to be very careful. This is the one that we do the microbes in. So you've got to be very careful about taking the lid off and not touching the top of the lid. Again, down, fill the bottle up. Carefully put the lid on. And then there's just two smaller ones. These are for the minerals. And the fourth one. Okay, and we're done. Now, in terms of getting this to the laboratory in one piece, uh, we need to put it in a bag, obviously, these four bottles, and we need to put an ice brick in with it. And then the, this, this needs to go in an esky, and it needs to go by a courier overnight to the laboratory. If it takes any longer than 24 hours to get to the laboratory, uh, we may get um, unreliable uh, values. So you need to line up a courier before you take your sample. 
For more information on stock water supply, cow access and quality, dairy farmers can visit feed.dairyaustralia.com.au or consult their nutrition advisor.